Good morning, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice of That Toy View. Today, we're going to be taking a look at just two toys, two static toys. One of them is, of course, a festival puppet, and the other one is, of course, what it looks like to be some kind of card or some sort of card for Easter that I've just made. But, anyways, let me just go ahead and grab the webcam. And I'm just so glad that Easter 2022 is about to hatch to a new start. Which, in a sense, I'm going to first show it to you now. Of course, yes, um, basically we're literally in the theme of two different countries. Um, but yes, of course, yes, you, you'll you never know until what I'm actually going to be doing until this video progresses. Of course. Um, yes, it's a Flip Flap Easter 2022 card. Of course, it's a kangaroo um, disguising himself as an Easter bunny. Because, you know, as you can see, they've got like long ears, of course, ears, and they've also got like well, a bit of a, how would you call it, a bunny rabbit like face, but much more longer here, with the muzzle I guess. Of course yes, he's got the buck teeth because he's pretty much cosplaying as a bunny rabbit. But yes, what's very funny about this kangaroo here, is that he's got his own easter egg, with kangaroos on it. It's got a very weird patterning of Australia, I think. And um, apart from that, he's also carrying what it looks like to be an easter basket with a couple of easter eggs with what well, looks like to be a, a pretty almost wet looking basket well I've got a funny feeling this model here actually this card doesn't look too bad and if I open this one up Hoppy Easter to you! that's what it says and there you go that's a very weird how would you say it? play upon word Hoppy Easter to you that's quite a very nice name for that one right and there's the Easter logo let's just hope the Easter logo gets you know refined in a much more finer refashion I hope and there's the Easter logo here as well for Flip Flap looking pretty bunny-esque and yes there's nothing much I can see though apart from the fact that this kangaroo there looks pretty much a little bit like a cosplayer of some kind some sort of Easter kangaroo thingy pretending to be the Easter bunny while the Easter bunny is pretty much off and away to his own last legs but anyways I've got a funny feeling this is actually quite a nice looking set <laughs> actually a nice looking card for Easter 2022 it's funny I would have never thought Easter 2022 would be a great continuity of various products to look forward to and you know what this is actually pretty nice of course I've shown you the back but I'm thinking that this card might be cheap because I'm actually sort of thinking that maybe stereotypically enough this card is made in China and actually speaking of China even though it doesn't say that this kangaroo is made in China so obviously it's the cardboard that says to me made in China and speaking of China there's a bit of a fact for you though Australia, Southeast Asia, America and Canada they actually has a lot more small oh yes they have, they have actually got a lot much more Chinese people than you know in terms of popularity the UK uh, but speaking of China Da -da 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 <laughs> oh yes, did you hear me there guys? I just did the Asian riff or Oriental riff while I did another Chinese dragon. So yes, away from up down under of course, up towards China, this is what we have. Uh, it's a female gold looking dragon, literally in the colours of China and not Spain. Although Spain does tend to have the same colours as China. But yes, this is basically it. And she looks so beautiful because she's got cool eyelashes. Although the funniest thing I can actually see, creepily enough, are those very distorted looking eyes. How distorted they look. And also she's got like a beautiful looking lip as well. And she's also got a very long looking body as well. But she's also got like pink horns in the sense that she's pretty much a feminine looking dragon. And there's the other side here as well. I bet you what there'll be more dragons here of course and there's the ears I think those are ears in which dragons have and uh, that looks pretty nice to me of course yeah she's got a red on the side she's got like pretty much you know a yellowish looking body I could make another yellow dragon if I have some time <laughs> but yes it looks pretty nice though in the way the model's been designed she just looks pretty much well, very asiatic as well. And I have to say, this dragon is quite long though. I would have never thought that this dragon would actually be quite 
particularly long in terms of how the body's been produced and stuff. And it's just pretty nice in the hands as well. Of course, you've got the whiskers or the barbels, whatever we're going to call it at the front. Um, but what's also quite nice here is, is that although she's female, she's also got a bit of a bit of a very weird looking. Is that like a small looking beard? I don't know why, but it, it looks pretty nice. There's her nose as well. That's very nicely detailed as well. And I've got a funny feeling that this dragon toy looks pretty much the part, really. Eh? I mean, there's nothing going on that much here that looks pretty much um, interesting. Maybe the eyelashes, though. And I guess the eyelashes might be the real eye catcher into why this dragon is female and not male. Even the lips as well. That makes it even more female looking, of course. So, that's a nice demo toy view of looking at an Easter card all about Australia and also a Chinese dragon puppet in true Chinese colours, patriotically, well, <laughs> almost. Anyways, if you really enjoyed in this very, very short basic toy view, please give this video a like, subscribe for more free five videos in the future, and I better remove these pieces of paper away because it's getting messy though. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and as always, once again, bye for now.